Well, good morning. Today is random project day. I just got a whole bunch of stuff to get caught up on. I've been uh, really busy working, so a lot of other stuff's kind of falling behind. One thing is we got to take the camper off this truck. I put it on this truck to get it off of my other truck so that I could like use it, but it's not mounted in any way. It actually fits this truck like perfectly. I just have to find some mounts. It'd be really handy to have all the utility boxes for like your stuff and then have your camper. But I have a better idea. I want to take this trailer, which I don't really need as you know, a big high sided haul stuff utility trailer anymore because now I have that dump trailer. So cut these sides off down here just above the fender wells. So you still have like, you know, some short sides and then put that camper in this trailer and it could sit far enough forward that you'd actually have like a little porch basically right here and then a little step to get into it. So I need to cut the sides of this off and I'm thinking if I cut them, I don't know, midway-ish, um, the part that I cut off I could bring over here and finish out the other side of the trailer. Uh, this doesn't have this side because this was originally set up as a welding trailer and it had a big welding unit right there that faced out that way and all your like hose reels and all that stuff are back here so it's a goofy trailer but it was set up for a very specific purpose but if i put that camper on this trailer another huge benefit is we could pull it behind one of the jeeps up to the woods and get into way places that uh, our rv can't go just unhook from the trailer there's our camp set up and then have the jeep to go exploring in and then we can still just jack it up out of there back the truck under it and have it in the back of a truck too so that's project number one project number two it's not really a project is hopefully this thing leaves today um the insurance company wrote it off as a total loss and uh they said that most likely today but maybe tomorrow they're going to send a um a tow truck to pick it up and haul it away to a salvage auction so uh, in addition to getting it out of my storage art here, the other nice thing is that when insurance companies come to pick up vehicles, they bring a nice check when they do. So that would be very ideal if that leaves today. Third project, uh, I got a bunch of new and much bigger ice chocks. These things are beasts uh, for the big roll back here. Um, I need to build some way to store them on this truck because uh, that's a lot of stuff to store. The nice thing about these is in addition to putting them this way and having those ice cleats to dig in to pull backwards, uh, you can put them like this and back the tire up on the side of them when you're side pulling and it stops the truck from sliding sideways. Then you could put on both tires right there and uh, hold the truck from sliding this way when you're doing a, a side pull with that fancy side puller thing I got. So I am thinking right there if I can make that work. We'll see. Project number four is I would like to put this uh, utility shell back on my black truck. Um, winter time and all the snow, it's really nice to have the enclosed storage of this thing. And it has this nice storage box in the side here with a work shelf and all. So um, I think I'm gonna try to get that put back on too. And project number five, I believe, uh, I need to put new bigger SD cards in all of our security cameras but I'm not going to show you that project because I think it's incredibly stupid to show your security layout on YouTube. Now I'll go ahead and call out the company here so that hopefully they leave me alone and quit hounding me but simply safe. Leave me alone. I'm never going to work with you ever because I think you and all the people who promote you are super dumb. And now back to you guys, the audience. Uh, Simply Safe, the reason you see it out there so much is they hound YouTubers and basically spam them until they get them to uh, work with them. They pay them a very good amount of money to run their security system and give them the security system on top of that. But the requirement is you make videos about installing it and showing how it's set up, which is incredibly stupid. And the fact that them as a security company is asking its people to show their security system for one, what system they use, and for two, how it's laid out and how it works, on YouTube shows me that you're not a very good security company. So now to all you YouTubers who are promoting Simply Safe and showing your security systems, quit doing that. That is so dumb. A decent sized jet. 
Anyway, so instead of using theirs that they were going to pay me to use, I went and paid to go buy a whole nother security system that I'm not even going to tell you what brand it is or show you how it's laid out or what I even have, but I've got to do some upgrades to it. So that's project number five. Oh, project number six. This is probably an important one. I need to pull that tire off and put the spare on because this one is leaking uh, at the valve stem. So I need to get a new valve stem put in it. I'll probably do this project first because to do other projects, I need that truck with this trailer unhooked. So before I unhook it, I might as well pull it down to the shop, change that tire. So let's start with that. Okay, well, I uh, bolted the, the other tire on, but I forgot to turn the camera back on, so done. And yes, this tire is super worn off to one side because that axle does have a slight bend to it. It's actually bent forward in. I don't, I must have backed into something at some point. It was like that when I got it. And that tire already had some of that wear and uh, in all the use I've had on this trailer, towing it to like, Utah and back and all over the place It's put very little more wear on that side of that tire to where like Do I need to change it? Yeah Am I gonna worry about it right now? No, also if uh, you're wondering all the hype about These new Harbor Freight Jacks is real It is they are worth every penny and super highly recommended now. I've had this jack since uh, I believe before they even hit the stores. Harbor Freight just sent this to me and there was no requirement of any kind to make a video, to say anything about it, nothing. It just, it literally just showed up one day in the mail uh, with nothing. It just, the jack showed up. And uh, I messaged them like, hey, uh, thanks for the jack. And they simply said, enjoy. Um, no requirements of any kind. So a bunch of people started making videos about these right away because they were like the hot new item and they didn't get a bunch of views. But what I did instead is I, I, I simply just used it. I've been using it for a couple months now, I think, and 100% worth it, awesome product. What I thought when I first saw their posts about this was they took their normal aluminum jack and basically added an off-road and extension kit, and not even close. This whole jack frame everything all of it is a hundred percent different than the ones they've had and it is a absolute tank it's got a nice carry handle right in the middle you can carry it uh the extension piece bolts on with these allen heads here that thread into the bottom plate so you don't need a nut or anything like that and the allen wrench for them stores right here and it is solid it doesn't come out of there until you push this button on the outside that releases it and then right here is a storage piece that holds this whole extension so that all of it stays locked to the jack you're not like looking for pieces around your shop the extension goes up and down of course or you just have your low plate like normal obviously not as low if you need to get under like a super low car as as like a standard aluminum jack but this is an off-road jack underneath it's got full skid plate across the bottom so you use it in snow and sand it doesn't sink um ooh, that almost just hit me in the head um another nice thing about the handle is you just kick that piece down right there and it locks at a 45 where you can pick it up and wheel it around nice and easy so they did an awesome awesome job with this jack and i would say it's worth every penny i, I would buy this even if they didn't send it to me now, like i said a bunch of youtubers did a bunch of videos right away just because they needed to get a bunch of views but the best one if you really want to see the best video about this jack comparing it to the others out there dirt lifestyle nate pickle did the best video I've seen on these jacks. I'll actually put a link to that down below. Go check it out. He, he did a way better job than I could ever do. So just, just watch his instead of me telling you about it.
Why does every Milwaukee thing I own die? I do not get the hype for this stuff. Okay, so I really wanted to saw cut the whole thing so that I had a nice straight and even line uh, like this that I could just take a piece of metal and cap the top, make it nice and clean. But instead I had to uh, pull out the plasma and hand cut it, which is not straight or even. So I would just use a little bigger piece of metal. Okay, far from perfect, but it'll hold a camper. And uh, I got other stuff to do, so on to the next project. Well, if you're wondering why it takes me so long to get projects done, uh, it's because the phone rings and now we are going to work on a tow with the big truck that will probably take most of the rest of the day. So uh, that list I gave you is just what I was hoping to get done today. There's, there's so many more projects and uh, now we're probably not going to get any more done today, but that is okay because that problem is a whole lot better problem than the problem uh, it's a lot of problems of uh, uh, having all my projects done and perfect and ideal but sitting around with nothing to do so we are in the rollback and headed to go tow a big old box truck I think so uh, I got about an hour drive so we'll see what we get into when we get there all right well as you can see we're back home and uh, we did not go tow that truck. Uh, bumps. Uh, I got about five miles down the road and then ended up on the phone with the other heavy tow company in town and found out that that uh, customer called them also for that same truck and sent them up there as well. And essentially what they were doing was they called both of us and whoever got there first was going to get the tow and whoever didn't, too bad, which is a uh, not super bright on the part of the customer because if I had got there seconds I would have still charged them for my whole round trip time and if the other tow company had got there second they would have still charged them for their whole round trip time as well so don't do that and by the way about my whole like a uh, security company rant earlier I'm sure there are some youtubers out there who were smart enough to use some other house that wasn't theirs to set it all up and make a video about and everything so that it doesn't show their security in their house. But two problems with that. One, I'm not going to fake something to promote some company I don't care about. Two, they're not paying nearly enough for me to put in that much effort to promote their product that I don't really care about. So I'm going to go work on my security system and then uh, we'll see you after that. Okay, so security cameras upgraded, added a few more because I like lots of them. Uh, I have now pumped all these jacks four billion times and finally got them to the ground. I, I think we're high enough. It looks like we are, so I'll go ahead and pull out. tell me to stop earlier. I think that right there is good. Whew, okay, well, 
it's on there. Um, I think I might shorten that tongue down. It used to be, or it used to need to be so long because when this was a welding trailer, it had racks on top that held 20 foot lengths of steel. And this was very purposely made to such a length that I could overhang that steel off the front and still miss the back whatever's towing it and be under the amount of overhang off the back that required it to be flagged. So that is why this is so long. Okay, well, I got it tied down um, just with some straps for now. I'll have to figure out some sort of actual like tie down system for this, but that's a later project. All right, bonus project, that light. Uh, some people in one of the videos commented that light was uh, acting a fool and uh, I checked it and it was working totally fine and then looking through some more footage later seeing that sometimes it was working sometimes it was not and uh, about 99% of the time it was working so uh, I finally ordered new lights for it uh, but since I couldn't find the exact match I got two and replaced the same one on that side now they're not all the same all the way through but they are symmetrical so close enough I forgot stuff. One, I forgot to take the tailgate off. Two, I gotta take that bolt and that bolt out on each side to clear this. So, dang it. Okay, so the camper shell is installed back on that truck. Uh, the big camper is out of that truck and on the trailer. Got some new lights in that truck. We did some things with this truck. I'm not sure what all I said I wanted to get done in the beginning of this video because a lot of things have happened today, but whatever I just did is all that I'm gonna get done in this video because uh, the day is wrapping up it is time to head inside and uh, have some family time so that is what I'm gonna do thank you guys for watching me do pretty much nothing but a lot of stuff at the same time see you next time